In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a virtual raster from two uh, files, TIFF files, how you create a hill shape, then create a contour with Gedal. Afterwards, I'm going to add a 3D value to the, to the lines and then save it as a DXF file so my colleagues can start working in CAD. First, I'm going to create a virtual raster. I go to the raster and I'm going to build a virtual raster. I select the input files. And I select an output file. And press OK. Now I have this image 2 times 1 kilometer. I'm going to create a hill shade. It's on the fly hill shade, so I double click on the raster, choosing style, and go from a single band to a hill shade. The altitude of the light is 45 degrees. Asimuth is 350 degrees, and in this case, I'm using value 3 for the set, set factor. The resampling is bilinear and the average 0, 8, and the area looks like this. Next, is going to get, create a contour line with the Gedal function. I simply search contour and find several, but I'm going to use this. Because in this here, I can set the values for 2.5 meters. I create a 2D value in attribute table with the name at elevation. And I add additional parameter called 3D, and if I, you want to learn more about that, you can look under the module help, where you can see all the extra attributes you can add on. I'm just going to save this as a temporary file, because I'm not going to use the save file, so just temporary, and click Run. Now I'm going to save as a DXF file. Before I do that, I open the attribute table and you can see the elevation in the 2D. But I'm going to save this as a DXF file. And give it a file name. And as you see, there's included the set dimension, which it'll, which will give the 3D dimension, which can be used in CAD systems. And now I've got a DXX file. And as known in DXF files, you don't have the attribute tables. It's simply attached to the line. If I just use the contour function, now I change it to a 5 meter. And I just keep this elevation. I don't put any additional parameters and click Run. trying to save as, you can see the difference, there will be no set dimension in this file. 